guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do this tutorial using all cool tone makeup. I usually don't do this on an everyday basis, but I figured with this gray hair I could do something that was a little different. And I really want to start doing different types of looks on my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is just going to be like a silver glitter. I tried to do like a little halo eye thing going on, and I think you guys will enjoy it. It's definitely different, but if you do like cool tones, I think you will really like this look. And I have been testing out a few new products that I will mention in the video, so if you want to know how to get this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. Alright guys, so I sprayed my face with the Urban Decay B6 spray and then I just jumped right into applying my Marc Jacobs primer. This is the Invisible Cover Primer. I really like it so far. It's extremely hydrating and that's mainly why I love it. So I'm going to use the Born This Way foundation today. This foundation is just amazing. It is so full coverage, but it feels so light on the skin. This is one of my favorite foundations ever. I'm using the shade Nude. And I really, really enjoyed this foundation. I'm just applying this with an IT Cosmetics brush. And then I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is an NW15 and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes. And I really like this concealer because it is extremely long wearing, but this shade is also extremely brightening. Against this foundation, I think it really does the job with highlighting and also concealing. Now I'm just going to blend this out with a beauty blender and I am not using this damp, it's actually dry. I'm just blending this out like you normally would. Um, I'm also blending my forehead and my chin. Next, I like to set all that with my Kat Von D Contour Kit. I use the lightest shade to set. It's just the perfect shade for setting my under eyes and I just love this kit so, so much. Next, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder. This is in the shade Fair. Next, I'm going to warm up my skin and I'm using Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And then I'm gonna go in with a contour shade. This is from a matte contour kit. I will list the name of it in the description, but it is a pro powder and I'm just putting this on my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna go highlight with Becca Pearl, one of my favorite highlighters ever. And then I'm gonna fill my brows in with L'Oreal Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Brow Kit. This is a new product, but I really, really love it and I have been using this daily. This has been my replacement for the Anastasia Brow Duo and I love it just as much and it's really surprising that a brow powder from the drugstore can be this amazing, but it really is. And then I just like to set that with some brow gel. Next I'm going to prime my lids and I really love this primer. This is the Kat Von D High Voltage Primer. This is a stable product that I've used for years and I love it so, so much. So next, I'm going to go in with the shade Mirage, and this is by Makeup Geek. I'm just applying this to my brow bone to brighten up that area. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Petal Pusher. This is a very cool toned pink, and I'm just applying this to my crease, and I absolutely love this shade. It's a nice pinky, cool toned pink, and it's just really, really beautiful with gray tones. So next I'm going to take the shade Stealth and I'm just applying this to the crease as well right over the top of the shade Petal Pusher and I'm just blending this from the outward part of my eye inward. Next, I'm just going to start adding that halo effect. I'm taking the shade Graphite, and this is a really shimmery, silver, grayish, bluish shade, and I'm applying that to the inner tear duct of my eye and also the outer corner of my eye, leaving the lid of my eye blank because we are going to go back and place a lighter colored shadow in the middle in a second, but I'm just packing that shade right onto the inner and outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade High Wire from Makeup Geek, and I just am packing this onto the lid, and as you can see, it adds a lot of light to your lid, and it makes it look a little bit 3D, I guess you could say, and that is the halo effect. And you could do this with any color of eyeshadow, which I think is really, really cool. I just like the way the silver came out. So now I'm just going to apply Too Faced um, I think this is just the perfect liner for the eyes. This is in black and I am tight lining my eyes just like I normally would do. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Graphite and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Next, I'm 
gonna take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter, and this is in Glam Rock. I love this so, so much. It's so easy to apply, and it is extremely pigmented for it just being an eyeliner. You can put this over the top of pretty much any eyeshadow, and it's instantly just a glam look, and I love this product so, so much. They come in a lot of different colors, but this one is probably my favorite. So next, I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. And then I'm going to apply some lashes. These are by Icon Lashes, and these are in the style Drunken Love. And then I just go ahead and poke myself in the eyes for a few minutes to make sure that my lashes aren't gonna go anywhere. Because I forgot to apply a blush earlier, I am applying MAC Peaches, and this is a very nice pinky peach shade. It goes really nice with fair skin tones, and it's really not too much on the skin, it's just a nice rosy glow. I'm using a Morphe E4 to apply the blush. Next, I'm going to be lining my lips with this gel lip liner from Bella Pierre, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. This is a very muted brown. It's kind of purpley, I guess you could say, and it goes really nice with the liquid lipstick I will be using. I got this lip liner, I believe it was in my BoxyCharm bag, and it's just an amazing lip liner. It's just so beautiful. And the liquid lipstick I will be using today is by Gerard Cosmetics. It is in the shade Invasion. And for me, like just looking at it right now, it looks a little bit more pink than what it looks like in person. It's actually very dark in person. And I think it's a really nice wearable grayish pink. Um, I really, really enjoy this color and I definitely think anybody can rock this. So after, I'm just gonna spray my face with my Urban Decay spray. And that is it for this look. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next tutorial.